making ingredients two forms of radioactive materials and ties to neo-Nazi philosophy. The investigation into Friday's double murder at a Tampa Palms apartment complex continues to expand. Peter Bernard is on the night beat at Tampa Police Headquarters tonight. And Peter, a lot of moving parts to this story. Yeah, this is a real convoluted case, and this investigation is just beginning. Two men are in jail, one for the double murder and the other for having bomb-making parts. The accused killer told cops he did it because he converted to Islam and his roommates didn't respect his religious views. It's turning out to be much more than one roommate turning on the other two in a murderous double killing. Tampa police say 18-year-old Devin Arthurs killed Jeremy Hemmelman and Andrew Onechuk. Arthurs told cops a fourth roommate, Brandon Russell, arrested in Key Largo, participates in neo-Nazi chat rooms and threatened to kill people and set off bombs. It's relatively easy to do, unfortunately. Retired Tampa PD bomb squad leader Jim Diamond tells me the discovery of bomb-making material in the apartment of neo-Nazis is no surprise. All of them have that capability to use uh, low explosive materials for uh, distraction devices or booby traps is very common with that type of organization. Tampa police officers found the two murder victims after they say Arthur's held an employee of this smoke shop and two customers hostage. He gave up and led officers to his apartment and the two bodies. And according to a federal criminal complaint, bomb ingredients and two sources of radiation. Anytime there's people around you or in confined spaces, you should be very cautious in making any type of explosive material. And of course, these guys are not cautious or they wouldn't be building them to begin with. Police say they also found weapons and ammunition along with the bomb parts. Probably, in the long run, may have saved a number of lives. No telling where they would have used this material in the future. A federal criminal complaint says Brandon Russell's room, they found white supremacist propaganda and a framed picture of Oklahoma City bomber uh, Timothy McVeigh in Tampa. Peter Bernard, News Channel 8.